Good morning everyone and welcome to another video on Mr. Ong Maths lesson. Today we'll be looking at question 3 or the last question of the 2020 NCA level 3 probability distribution external examination. So without further ado, let's go. Okay, the question 3 is actually a triangular distribution. So for the first time, I've seen that there's both rectangular and a triangular distribution in the same paper. So let's go. So let's read. A common injury for sports player which requires surgery is a ACL. ACL usually takes between 120 to 150 minutes. So we draw a triangle. The lowest value is 120 and the highest value is 150. Okay. So the lowest value is represented by letter A and the biggest value represented by letter B. Okay, which the most common time being 130. So the most common time is at 130. So we we'll label that as C. Okay, using the appropriate distribution, calculate the probability that the ACL surgery takes less than 130. So 130 is here, less than 130 is here. So we are calculating the area of this triangle. That area will correspond to the probability of surgery that take less than 130. So to do that, we know to calculate the area of triangle, you need to have base and height. The base is simple. 120 to 130 is 10. 130 minus 120 is 10. We need to find the height. To find the height, we have to use the formula in a formula booklet. The formula to calculate the height of a rectangular triangular distribution is 2 divided by B minus A. So we have labeled A at 120, B at 150. The smallest number is 120, the biggest number is 150, and the most common number is 130. So B is 150, so 150 minus A, which is 120, so 2 divided by 30, that's 1 over 15. So the height here is 1 over 15, okay? So to calculate the area of the triangle, is the th uh, formula you learn in, in high school is half times base times height. So the area that is less than 130 is half times base times height. Half, the base is 130 minus 120 is 10. And the height we found earlier is 1 over 15. Use the calculator is 1 over 3 of 0 0.333. So that will give you an achieve in that paper. Okay. So we are going to transfer this answer here into the next question. So the area is 0 0.133, so we found earlier is 0 0.133 or one third. Okay, so now we are doing the excellence question. So given the ACL takes less than 150, so this is a conditional probability. You are given a condition, okay, calculate the probability that it takes more than 130. So what is the probability given that it's less than 140, find the probability that it is the ACL lasted more than 130. So using the conditional probability A given B is always A and B divided by probability of B. So in this case, we get probability of X more than 130 and X less than 140 or simplify them as X between 130 and 140 divided by the second probability, which is X less than 140. Okay. So now we have done that. We need to find all the values here. Okay. To do that, we have to calculate the areas of each portion of the triangle, okay? So the first thing we do, we need to calculate the height area of this area here between 140 to 150. So to do that, we need to calculate the height, okay? The height of this triangle to the height, use the formula booklet. The formula to calculate between 140 to 150 is 2B minus X, B minus A multiplied by B minus C. So your X is 140, your A is the same at 120, your B is 150, and your C is 130. Substitute in the value, 2, B is now 150, X is 140, B is 150 minus A is 120, and your B again 150, and your C is 130. Put in your calculator, you should get 1 over 30. Once you know the height here, you can calculate the area of this region. Okay, to do that, again, half times base times height, area more than 150, 140, half times base times height, the base is 140 to 150 is 10, and the height we found earlier is 1 over 30, put in your calculator, is 0 0.166. So that area is 0 0.166, 
If you add them up here, it's 0 0.5, so that area has to be 0 0.5. Now coming back to the conditional probability, so what is the probability that more than 130, less than 140, so the numerator is going to be 0 0.5, and what's the probability less than 140, so it's going to be 0 0.5 plus 0 0.33 is 0 0.833, put your calculator, and the answer should be 0 0.6, and that will give you an excellent. Okay? Sounds difficult, but if you go through the process, it should be no problem at all. Okay, good. Next question is a probability distribution function. Okay, so you are given a table. You are going to calculate. So a hospital is considering sourcing a new x-ray machine. This, this shows the probability distribution of a random variable n and the number of repairs needed. Okay, so n is the number of repairs and that's the probability of it going to be. Okay. So, calculate the mean and standard deviation. So, the mean, you do not know, the formula is sum of nxi pi means you take multiply 0 times 0 0.11 plus 1 times 0 0.34 plus 2 times 0 0.35 plus 3 times 0 0.2. We've done it before and the answer is 1.64. So, the number of repairs over a period of 3 years is going to be 1.64 repairs for that period of time okay okay so the variance so to do that we to use this formula sum of e x squared minus the mean 1.6564 squared so to get the x squared you square the value so 0 squared is 0 1 squared is 1 2 squared is 4 and 3 squared is 9 so the same thing you calculate the sum of x squared you have to take 0 times 0 0.11 plus 1 times 0 0.34 plus 4 times 0 0.35 plus 9 times 0 0.2 and you get 3.54 minus the mean 1.64 squared that should be a bracket there and you should get the answer is 0 0.8504 to calculate the standard deviation because they ask for standard deviation not the variance the standard deviation is the square root of the variance to call the square root of 0 0.8504 is 0 0.9222 and that will give you an achieve okay Let's proceed. Okay, now. Okay, now we look at the next question. So the hospital is considering leasing an x-ray machine from company A or B. Company A charges 69,500 plus additional of 350 per month. Company B charges 65,000 plus an additional $10,000 per repair. Which company has a higher variation over a three-week period? Company B has a higher variation because over three years period, as company A, as you can see, company A, they have no variation as least, the lease price is fixed. So they do not have any variation of the repair cost. They are going to pay every month at 350 per month. So the lease price is fixed. So there's no variation for company A. So company B has a higher variation. You can answer that. That is the merit. Okay. Last but not least, we will look at the excellence question. The hospital will lease an x-ray machine for three years. For which company would you recommend the hospital list the x-ray machine? Support your answer with statistical reasoning. Okay, so, 3 years list, company A, 65,500 plus 350 per month because in 3 years, there's 36 months, you multiply 36 times 350 and the totals come up to 82,100. Similarly, for company B, 65,000 times plus uh, the number of re mean repairs is going to be 1.64, so 1.64 times 10,000, put your calculator, is 81,400, okay? So company B is cheaper compared to company A, uh, but, okay, company B is cheaper, but it could cost more if the repairs is more than 1.64. If, if the repairs is like 3 or 4, then the number is going to blow up. Therefore, I should choose company A, as it is fixed, there's no worries about that. Well, company B can be risky, just like if you are borrowing money from the bank. If you have fixed term, you know that you are paying the same amount for the fixed number of time. If you have a variable component, then the number will change from month to month. So technically, that's how you answer question 3. Hopefully, you watch video 1, video 2 on probability distribution. If you can answer all these 3 videos, you should be on the way to get at least a merit or excellence. And... Have a good day, everyone, and see you soon. Cheers. This, by the way, is an excellence question. So if you can get a couple of excellence in your paper, 
You should be all sweet. Cheers, everyone. See you soon.